Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use ControlNet in our Photoshop AI plugin with Control Models. It's much simpler to use without losing quality. Let's start now. Jump to 1 minute and 54 seconds to see cases if you want to skip intros. The ControlNet function is in the tool panel. So far, you can use ControlNet under Stable Diffusion version 1.5, Photorealism, Anything V3, these three models. Let's explain the exact meaning of these parameters first. There are two main parts, control and process. Control model, you can choose different control models to affect the base model, like canny, depth, and open pose, etc. Control strength, you can decide how strong the control model will affect the base model and generation. Input value between 0 and 1, a bigger value leads to a bigger influence. In the process, we process the image to provide a usable result for the control model. Also, you need to choose a control type consistent with your control model. If you choose a depth model, you are also supposed to select depth here. Upload means you can upload readable images for control models. Apply is to process the image you select, which is more convenient. Clear is to clear the result here. To use the process, First, select the area that you want to process, and click Apply. The picks will be dealt with as the control type set, and you can see the result here. Then click Generate, the generation will already be affected by the control model. Here we assume that you already choose the base model and input the prompt, and we get our four generations here based on the original image. Very amazing! Now, I will show you how to use the depth model first, then a canny model. First, import an image that I like. Depth model processes the image and provides a structure that shows the shades of color in the picture, which helps us affect the shape of the generation. Select the area and choose depth and just click apply. It shows the result it has processed. Next part, I use anything modeled and input my prompt. This time I want a male detective with a deerstalker. You know, the one Sherlock Holmes wears. Change the other parameters a little bit and click the generate. Check the image here. Nice, but not perfect. Let's try lower the strength to generate it again. It's interesting and like an experiment. And it looks like this one is closest to what I want in my mind. The hat is a typical deerstalker and his coat is detective style. Now, let's do another experiment using the same posture. But this time, I want to create a lovely girl with a white dress and long blonde hair, and we change the background to the balcony. Meanwhile, we adjust the strength value to 0.3 to diminish the influence of the depth model. Let's click Generate and see the result. The whole vibe looks very nice, and the character is perfect, but the fingers are locked. So now, let's improve the prompt to refine the generation again. Those are new generations. This time we can find out that fingers are drawn better. This portrait with whole body illustration seems to be my favorite. The balcony is created wonderfully, and the white dress just fits the style. Then, we can see these three images together. The imported images provide a posture structure for the generation, and that's how the depth model works, affecting your image in a relatively certain and controlled way. In this case, we import a sketch picture for the canny model, and this sketch is usable for canny, therefore we just select the image and and click upload. Then the result is ready, and we input some prompts. I would like to use a bigger value in Guidance Scale. 
Type some good words like masterpiece and high quality to help improve quality. Here we want to draw a girl wearing a pink dress and white hair. The background is flower garden. Then we type some negative prompts to avoid the worst quality. All preparation is done and now click generate. Be careful that we decide the value of the control model as 0.7, a relatively large number. Now import generations as layers, and we can check the results. This one looks the best and it's created with more details. Also, you can notice she may be in a place like a flower garden. Now we do the second experiment, let's change some prompt. I want a girl with black hair, and there is a unicorn's horn on her head, well, I think it's pretty cool and she wears ninja suit. Here we change the strength value to 0.3 since I don't want the generation to have so many similarities and generate. Waiting for a second. They are all very close to the prompt, but only this one has unicorn's horn, though it doesn't locate in the middle of the head. I put these three together so we can see the influence of control model clearly. In the canny model, it keep the original lines and shape. It's more like to paint color based on your prompt for the sketch. With control net, trying different control models, you may create images with a certain idea or structure. Review all the steps again. First, choose your base model. Secondly, import a picture you want to use. Third, choose your control model to affect the generation. Fourth, process your image for control model. Next, input the prompt and change the values of parameters. Finally, click generate. Hope this video is helpful and let's enjoy the AI journey together. Thanks for your watching.